I don't really know what to say about this episode except of one thing. It was hilarious. Pokemon Ranger, I choose you! What's up my boys and girls, it's your Ranger Boy here and a fabulous welcome to another review of the Pokemon X, Y and Z anime. Today we are witnessing one of Clement's biggest pleasures with episode 31, the explosive heat at the Mechanical Festival. So last week's episode really wasn't that good because the story was just plain boring. But luckily this today's episode was by far one of the most hilarious episodes in the whole series and despite not really having a clear story, it was so enjoyable to watch. So I will try my best to sum up the story of today's episode as good as I can. So that's why, let's get right into the review! So where do we start? Of course our heroes are arriving at the main place of event which is the so called Mechanica Festival, a place full of machineries and inventions which can be used for either having a fun time or just to troll each other. And speaking of trolling, we are getting right into one of many troll moments of today's episode, where Clement is bragging about a machine which shows a complicated process of events so that in the end it can open up a berry? And Serena as one of the trolls of today shows him how normal people would handle this. Haha! <laughs> But Clement then gets really really angry and explains that the result is not the thing which matters but first and foremost the whole invention and process should be the main focus and of course the rest of the gang is uh, confused I guess. And speaking of confusion, while our heroes are entering the mechanical building, Team Rocket are preparing, well, another trap and especially the good looking James seems to be really excited while Jesse is really confused about everything. And now comes the point where it's actually really confusing to find a clear line of story in this episode, since it seems to be more like a compilation of funny mini events, but I will try my best. <gasps> so first of all, the gang is entering not one, but two rooms which have hidden doors, and because of the second hidden door, Pikachu, Pancham and Chespin got separated from the rest. After that, Ash and the others, oops, I mean, Clement and the others are jumping on moving pillars and surprisingly enough, Clement is really athletic. Meanwhile, Team Pikachu is entering a pinball like room and to its displease, Pancham gets bounced like a pinball while Chespin is enjoying the pain of its rival. After that, not only Ash, uh, <coughs> Clement and the others are entering another room with a hidden door but also Team Rocket are about to enter the same rooms with hidden doors and it seems like that James is the expert of the team. Do you see why it's quite difficult for me to sum up the story? I will make it quick by saying that the XY gangs entering several rooms, some of them are platformers like the others and some of them are even dangerous as hell. For example nearly getting pushed and slammed into a wall which luckily didn't happen to Ash but instead to Jesse. But at least both Jesse and Ash got boiling hot tea poured on their face. What the fuck? But finally we are getting back into a story with more structure, since Team Rocket are stealing Pokemon in the Mechanica Festival style, until our heroes arrive and like always try to stop Team Rocket. But if you really think it will end up like always, <laughs> then you're wrong. In the spirit of the Mechanica Festival, James invents a special Meowth robot with complicated process but tiny and pathetic results. And not only the XY gang, but also Jesse is complaining about this, which James explains with that the result isn't important here, but the invention and process itself, which of course, Clement agrees completely. I guess girls don't really understand masculine love towards machines. Unfortunately the rest of the episode is like always Team Rocket fight against the gang, a desperate James and the rest got blown off again and happy ending. And that's the end of today's episode and many many weird things happened which can't be comprehended in few words so that's why let's go straight into the rating. What can I say about the story? Well, this is by far one of the weirdest episodes of XYZ and I think by now you understand why. But this episode also proves that you don't really have to have a clear story to make the episode enjoyable and entertaining to watch. I honestly prefer those kind of weird and funny episodes way more than those episodes with boring episodes. <clears throat> Last week. But I can't really give the story a full score due to the fact how messy it was. I think the episode was like the Mechanica Festival itself. The end result is not important but first and foremost the process and everything in between. Which means just like the inventions, this today's episode was messy, weird and complicated to understand. But so funny and I love it. That's why I will give it an 8 out of 10. What can I say about the focus? Well first you would think 
that it concentrates on the festival alone and indeed it focused on the main place of event which is the Mechanical Festival. It showed off all the weird and funny things it has to offer and I'm okay with that. About the explosive heat part to be honest, I was confused but after watching the episode I totally understand it. This episode was focused on two persons, Clement and James. Both of them showed a lot of passion in regards of inventions, machines and the overall spirit of one of man's greatest passions which only man can understand. So in my opinion, the explosive heat refers to their passion. Of course, if you haven't watched the episode, you would never have guessed that. And that's why I will give it a 8 out of 10. And like always, last but not least, let's talk about the animation. First of all, we have to talk about the new ending of today's episode, which is of course the Clement ending with the Kira Kira theme. I love this ending. Why? Because it showed not only that Clement was the focus of today's episode, but also it has a lot of nostalgia in it. All the fun moments Clement experienced with Ash and the others and really it got a lot of nostalgia and also makes me really sad because we are near the end of X, Y and Z and, and because of that it makes me really sad. But no time for sadness right now since the episode overall was everything but sad and the animation shows it. In my opinion it didn't really concentrate it on the character themselves but more on the environment. And I like the mix of really bright colors combined with some really cartoonish and childish elements within the environment. For example, the pinball trap, the boiling hot tea trap, the piano, and of course... <laughs> poor Jesse. And I have to admit, it wasn't really the X, Y, and Z style we all know. But I will promise you guys, we will get epic animation in the next episode because then the Carlos League will start. But this episode really was to just cool us down and prepare us mentally uh, for the Carlos League because within the Carlos League there will be no fun time. So I was really glad to have this episode for a really enjoyable and fun experience. And I will give the animation a 7 out of 10. So overall, this episode scores a 7.66 out of 10. The recommendation. Guys, if you're somewhat sad or in a bad mod, just watch this episode and you will get happy in no time. It was enjoyable to watch. You don't really need a clear structure or story to enjoy an episode and this episode clearly was just for enjoyment. And I loved it. I loved everything about this episode. And I hope you guys will love this episode as well. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this today's review like always. And see you guys in the comment section down below. Bye!